Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, so we're going to be doing your general reading. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to those of you that um, were sending me my sending me your well wishes after my surgery. I um, really do appreciate it, guys. All right, so let's go ahead. I won't um, ramble about that. I just want to say thank you, and I am doing better for those of you that ask. I thank you and appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. We're gonna see what's going on with Cancers. Been looking forward to doing you guys' this reading. All right, Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on with Holy Spirit with Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising. We got here release coming through. All right, so it looks like we have here, yeah, self-worth. So this is a this is personal for me. Mean, I mean, meaning that this is something personal for you, rather. Like you're releasing something that has been affecting you, but you're doing it for yourself. Doesn't matter what type of situation or relationship it is. It looks like it's multiple things, multiple people. I feel like you may have been hurt by a lot of people because there is some tears come, well, some water, some rain, which is giving me an indication of like I feel like someone's been crying, or just someone may have been hurt by uh, multiple people. I even feel like someone has passed away. Someone that may have hurt you is no longer here. For some of you out there, someone could have passed away. You may be crying or hurt over someone that passed. But I feel like you have been on a um, journey of self-worth. I feel like not really knowing your worth. But now as you're starting to release people, um, I feel like starting to be triggered by some unhealed things because I feel like you're going through a purge. So I feel like uh, what has been happening is that you're starting to release certain things that have been hurting you, things that have been painful for you. And as you're releasing that, I feel like you're growing to be more protective and more loving and more caring for yourself. Because if you notice here in this chair, she's looking at it and there's a spotlight. I feel like it's time to take your place on this throne. Like I feel like I feel like you haven't been doing it though. That's what I'm saying. I feel like you have not you you have not realized just how powerful and how worthy you are of good things and good people. I feel like you've been taken for granted. I feel like your kindness has been used as weakness. And I, I feel like it's been something that's been ongoing. Maybe people taking advantage of you or people using you and you're starting to release that. And I feel like God is saying it's time to claim your throne, claim your place because you haven't been doing that. You've been allowing other people to maybe manipulate, control you or because, you know, you come through as cancer, whether sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You try to see the good in people, but I feel like you've been bitten by doing that. And now you're starting to let that go. You're starting to find value and, you know, yourself value and focusing on yourself. But I feel like you still have not yet. Yeah, see, there, there was someone that passed away. I feel like you still, you're, you're like not there yet. Because like I said, she was looking at the chair. So not having sat in it yet. And I feel like that's as you're releasing, as you're purging, you're preparing to take your place. Because remember I told you guys, I felt like, well, at least in this reading too, I'm feeling like a high calling, like you have a high place or a high calling that you've been avoiding or maybe not feeling like worthy enough or feeling like you're, um, good enough to do something, but you are. And here's this completion. Yeah, I feel like someone passed away. There's also someone that's looking over you. And in both of these pictures, I keep seeing here, look at how the sun is in the background and then right here in the background too, there's the sun. Um, which is giving me this indication that there's things are about to get better in your life. You've been in a period of mourning. Rather, it's over, like I say, over someone that has passed away. Rather, it's over these relationships that are dead in your life. Um, you've been in this state of mourning, this state of grief. I feel like not really being happy, not experiencing a lot of wish fulfillment. So I feel like this stagnant energy, this very slow energy as well, where things haven't been popping off in your life, where you haven't been feeling good about your life. Again, I, I feel like someone that has passed away that you've been mourning has been watching over you. This is either an ancestor. For some of you, this could even be a father. There's some sort of male energy that checks in on you. But this is someone that's no longer here.
I, this may have even been someone that hurt you. This male energy, meaning that this person that passed away could have been someone that hurt you. But others, it doesn't have to be figuratively. This could be you just um, ending something with someone that could be still alive, but that person is no longer relevant in your life. Yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I felt, I felt like you haven't been experiencing like you know your best life i felt like things have been problematic for you but look here like you've been being protected but i feel like you've been feeling alone in the process and spirit is just wanting to remind you that you're not alone there's protection around you and like i say even um past loved one is around you but there's also angels around you as well because i feel like you've been confused by this process this situation that you're going through there's something that you're not very certain of, Cancers. But I feel like you're meant to be in this confused state. I don't know why, though. Like, they're telling me that this is part of your your journey. You're supposed to be in this confused state. And I feel like, okay, thank you. They're, they're saying you're supposed to be in this confused state because you're, you're, you're having to walk by faith. You're having to walk by faith and you're having to trust God in this process. That's why. So it's like you're walking in the unknown. And they just gave me that, 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 you know, what is that? Um, you know, it's like, yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You know, that's what they, I just heard. So I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like you're walking through, like you've been walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Like I said, things have not been looking good in your life, but it's building your faith. It's like, you're not meant to know everything right now. That's why I, I feel like you guys are feeling confused by the way, by confused by things that are, you know, happening in your life. But you are not walking through this alone. You're meant to walk through it. So you're going to get through it. It's not going to go away. You're just meant to get through it. And it's going to help build your faith. It's going to help build your courage and help you to trust in God. Um, last week I heard that see dissipating I feel like some of you are feeling bored in life you know feeling like you know something as I said something is look at here impatient yeah something isn't happening fast enough for you you know you know something is supposed to be happening or something will be happening whatever that may be maybe it's a particular job maybe it's a house uh, maybe it's a spouse maybe you're looking to get married have kids it's like there's something that you've been waiting for that just has not been happening and you've been growing impatient and look at here even isolation having to be alone and I feel like getting tired I'm hearing here someone feeling like they're just going to die old and alone. Someone feel like they're just going to be single forever. And it's like, when will my blessing come? When will I be blessed? And feeling confused because it hasn't happened yet. But I'm here to tell you that this confusion is part of your process. It's going to happen. I feel like God is trying to teach you balance. Meaning that, like, and what I mean by this balance, I mean, because I'm seeing here someone looking angry and someone looking mad. And I feel like this is someone feeling this way because it's not happening fast enough. Because someone may be used to a microwave type of life or want a microwave type of life where things happen really fast. But yes, not your that's not your um, journey. That's not what's meant to happen. There's you're, you're having to learn balance. And what I'm saying by that is, you know, you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. And this balance is going to create appreciation as well, helping you to appreciate things like you're you're being built for something. That's what I'm hearing. I'm getting here. You are being built. And that's why it's going to require patience for whatever it is that you're being built so that you can withstand whatever adversity you uh, you go through. Whatever adversity comes up against you, there's something that's being built within you, Cancer. And Spirit is saying that, you know, it can't happen overnight for you. You can't get what you want just like that. They're trying to teach you about balance. They're trying to teach you that, you know, when you have bad moments, when things are not happening how you want them to happen, it's okay. Still walk through the process. Still be okay in that process. Because I feel like someone may be feeling angry or feeling upset because they're not getting what they want. And maybe looking at other people and thinking, oh, well, so-and-so, they're getting what they want. What about me? And your 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 plan is, is different. And I feel like whatever it is that you're going to get, it's like 
the longer the wait, the bigger the blessing. So you're going to get more than what you even expected or even asked for. And that's why I got to say, be patient, be patient. Cause I'm going to give you more than what you even expect. See how there's something covering up. You don't even see it. There's something that you don't even see. That's going to be a big blessing in your life. But I feel like you're being in this purging. You're in the middle of a purge, a release. Cancers. Okay, so we got the, yep, yeah, you're a star. Here comes the star card. You're a star. Yeah, see, mm -hmm. look, I told you your spirit is working with you, taming you. You're being tamed. You are being tamed because you're a star. See, you're, you can't compare your life to other people because you are unique. Your path is different. Look at the star. She's naked and she's alone. And even though she's alone, she's blessed. Look at the stars around her. There's blessings around her. Spirit, God is around her. Even though you may feel isolated and alone, I feel like some of you with this vanity card, you may be looking at other people and thinking that they're happy and living this grand and luxurious life and feeling like, when will it be my time? But like I told you guys, I feel like you are being alone because you're being protected. I really get this strong energy around, uh, <laughs> like, I, I'm just going to say it. You're, you're God's favorite. <laughs> I say that all the time to myself, right? But you are, you are God's favorite. You are favorite. You are a chosen one. You have been being protected. So things are not happening fast enough for you because there's something here that God is trying to work and instill within you. And I feel like being your authentic self. You're not meant to beat to anyone's drum. There is something very unique about you. Not just unique about you, but also your calling, your place in this world. You're different. You're definitely different here. You're not meant to, to um, fit in. And I told you guys that. Spirit has been working with you. So I feel like if something isn't happening in your life right now, it's because there's something they're trying to instill within you. Patience and compassion is what I'm hearing too. I'm hearing here trying to tame that beast in you because maybe there's some, like I said, I felt like some sort of anger, some sort of animosity. It's like they're trying to tame you. They're trying to heal you too. Because I'm seeing here, you will be lacking for nothing when you come out of this state. We have to say, yeah, people tried to walk over you. I feel like your boundaries were not as strong as they used to be. Because we have here the seven of wands, but it's coming through in reverse. See, upright, you know, we're defending and protecting ourselves and setting strong boundaries. But in reverse, it's like you're letting people walk over you. You're trying to get, like I said, you wear your heart on your sleeve and you try to see the best in other people. But I feel like that was not something, like you have to have balance. There are going to be some people that you're going to be compassionate with and have mercy towards. But there are those that you need to block out of your life. And that's where that balance comes in at. Like, yeah, okay, it's nice to be giving. It's nice to be, um, you know, helpful to people. But there are some people that will take advantage of your kindness. And so, Spirit, God has been trying to teach you to find balance. Because you're an overgiver. You're an oversharer. You give more than what you receive. And Spirit is saying, no, you need to find balance. Everyone does not deserve your energy. Case in point, needing to release certain people in certain situations. And I feel like, yeah, because you're this star, that's why God is wanting to teach you this balance. I feel like you had to get um, hurt because I feel like you're, you're having to learn how to have this balance. You had to experience something painful because I feel like someone is confused about experiencing something. Maybe feeling like, why did it happen? Why wasn't I protected when I experienced this? But it was in that experience that you're having to learn balance. And so people can't walk over you. Standing up and protecting yourself and defending yourself from those that need it. That you need to defend yourself against. I'm seeing the sun card come through. But I'm also seeing the emperor in reverse. Someone could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. Definitely getting here fire energy coming through. Whoever this person is, this emperor in reverse. I feel like this is a toxic masculine. Someone that is, uh, or toxic masculinity energy. Maybe some, if, if you're not... Dealing with a male, this could just be someone 
who is used to dealing with toxic men, right? Um, if you are dealing with a man, you're dealing with someone that's toxic, someone that could be very controlling. This is also someone that's very experienced. I feel like this is someone that's very stubborn. This could be someone that's mean, rude, and set in their way. You were happy with this person, okay? Right? You were you you felt good about this person with the sun card coming through. But look what you felt good about. You felt good about somebody that was um, toxic. You felt good about someone that was very controlling and rude. Let's see what that's about. It's like a it's like an oxymoron. Happy about someone that isn't uh, being good to you. And that's what I'm saying here. Everyone does not deserve your attention. Having to set boundaries. Just because you feel good about someone, look at how their actions are. Because the Emperor in Reverse is telling me this person's actions, like although you felt happy and good, their actions were something different. You have to look at a person's actions, not so much by just what they say, but what they're doing. And I feel like this is someone that was doing toxic things. And this is not a, the emperor in reverse is not someone that is, you know, uh, you know, stable. They don't use their power for good. This could also be someone that doesn't take care of their kids or they have issues with their children. This is someone that's older, someone that may have gray hair. I'm seeing a beard. With this emperor coming through for some of you to give you some physical characteristics. Um, some of you may be dealing with a black, a black male. You may be a black male. I just feel like there are some issues. Someone definitely has some father issues, whether that's you or this person that you're dealing with. Yeah, and I'm seeing here a child. So I'm definitely getting here some childhood issues. Uh -oh. We got the, yeah, whoever this person is, they're very stubborn cancers. Whoever you're dealing with, they're refusing to let go of something. Look at here, the Knight of Swords is coming through. So I'm getting here that this person could be very, uh, there's some sort of like some some harsh things, something very like something is brewing. Like there could have been some sort of conflict with you and this person, maybe even an argument for some of you or this person is not letting go of some sort of argument, some sort of strife, whether it's with you or with someone else that they were dealing with. Like the, I feel like there's something dark around this person. Look at the black around here. They're holding on to something dark. And that's why the emperor came through in reverse. Because whatever it is that they're holding on to, it's not something good. I feel like, hmm. I feel like there's like, um, this person's home. There's some sort of issues in their home. Like it's on, like you see how you see this black smoke in this building? This is giving me like somebody's home. Like there's something on fire in their home. There's some sort of issue in their home. You may not know about it. Or the, again, or this could be something about their home growing up. But I feel like they're holding on to something that's unhealthy. I also feel like this is someone that could have been very um, rude towards you or just antagonizing you. Like starting arguments, starting conflict with you for no reason. Like I just feel like this person had a lot of, you know, maybe um, a lot of choice words. I don't know. I just feel like this person just could have been maybe rude to you, especially this emperor in reverse. And I feel like taking out, they, I feel like this person could have been taking things out on you. Whatever it is, I'm getting here this energy of this person being very like, like rude towards you. I feel like they did something in the, in the heat of the moment. So they may have said something to you. Like, like, I feel like it wasn't planned or it wasn't something they were thinking about. I feel like you guys may have gotten into an argument and they said something really quick that they, you know, they can't take back now. Like, because I'm seeing the page of wands in reverse. So I feel like they said something to you that was negative. So they could have cursed at you, called you a name or gave you some sort of bad news. But then, you know, 
started an argument with you or, or said something to you, you know, to, to make you mad, to get at you is what I'm, I'm feeling with this person. But they're refusing. It's, so it's like, even though that has happened, this person is, is still sitting on their uh, bench, like refusing to, I feel like, make peace with you, refusing to try to make things right with you. Yeah, the fool card is in reverse. So this person did something that I feel like was very foolish. But when it comes to trying to fix it with you, they're not doing so. We have here the Seven of Cups coming through. There is some sort of confusion. Hmm. Let me clarify this fool. Four swords flipped over. Yeah, this person is restless. So it's like, even though they're not coming towards you, I, again, I'm feeling like not wanting to make the first move. So even though they don't want to make the first move and reach out to you, they don't have peace. But this is someone that's being, they have too much pride. That's what I feel like. I feel like this person has a lot of pride. And they're restless. This is that, I, I don't know if you guys heard, heard of this saying, but... You know, I, I, I can be stubborn myself and I'm the type of person that, you know, I will spike. What's that saying, guys, where um, it goes something like this? I may be saying it wrong, but I'll spite my face or cut off my nose to shame my face or spite my face. So meaning that I'll suffer before I'll uh, apologize. That's what I feel like. Before I do whatever it is that needs to be done, I'll suffer. And that's what I'm getting here with this person. It's like they're so stubborn and so prideful that they rather suffer than reach out, the, reach out to you because they're restless right now. They don't have any peace. I feel like this person is hurting. I'm seeing the three of swords. This person is hurting. You're on their mind because here's the Ace of Swords right here by the head. And I feel like this person does not have any peace because they're still thinking about you. But I also feel like there's some hurt associated around this connection between the two of you. But rather than admit wrong, rather than admit fault, this person rather sit on their throne and be arrogant and be stubborn. All right, we, yep, see, here's the Nine of Cups coming through to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, look at here, I told you, they want, this person wants to come back. This person wants to come into your life, and they and they, this is someone that's still in love with you, or someone that is in love with you, the Queen of Cups. Here it is, Cancer. This is you, Cherry. Well, yeah, this person wants to apologize to you. This person wants to even take you out on a date, and I feel like wants to open up and express their love to you. I feel like some of you, I need to see what this, uh... Let me clarify this Knight of Cups. What is this romantic gesture about? Because they want to make some sort of romantic gesture. I feel like it's going to happen because she's holding a cup. So I feel like this person is going to give you a cup. But I need to see what this Knight of Cups is about. Mm, I just saw the devil. Someone could be dealing with a Capricorn. Spirit, what is this romantic gesture about? Eight of Cups. Walking away. You walked away. You walked away. I feel like this is, yeah, see here, look, you, you built, you gave so much of your love to this person and you turned your back on them. Now they're coming, th this person is looking to come after you, but I'm seeing here one cup in their hand when you gave eight cups. Hmm. I feel like trying to get you back. Let's get another card with this. We got the high priestess. This person kept some sort of secret. They were hiding something. Yeah, this is the king of pentacles in reverse. So this is someone that was greedy, wanting their cake and wanting to eat it too. Selfish, someone that was not faithful or loyal. So I feel like they were keeping that a secret, that they were not faithful to you, that they were not loyal to you. This could have been someone that was talking to multiple people. They were keeping it a secret. So I feel like this person may have came in pretending or trying to be trying to be something that they weren't and I feel like you obviously found out about it or you or something happened here because you ended up walking away because of whatever it is this person was hiding hmm. yeah they could have been juggling you but they're wanting to come back into your life and apologize for it 
So it looks like that energy is going to change because they're they're restless. They're like I said, they're not having any peace because of whatever it is that they're whatever it is that they did to you. Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing here. This person is angry and frustrated, jealous. This person feels like you're their Ten of Cups. I'm. I feel, guys, this is what I'm getting here. I feel like this person is going to try to propose. I feel they're coming. Whatever this romantic gesture is, it's a Ten of Cups. So this person, I feel like, is going to propose because I'm getting here jealous energy. Like this person is feeling jealous about whatever it is that's going on in your life and feeling angry. Let me get a mixed emotion card. Let's see, just so you guys can see with the oracle, this person's emotions. Clarify this Knight of Cups emotion, Spirit. Because I feel like there's going to be something with a marriage proposal. Even living together or wanting to live together. K kids. Maybe um, if you, blending families or having kids together. Meeting family. This is interesting. Because this person is going from being stubborn and being rude and mean towards you to now, you know, wanting to make up with you and wanting to marry you. Or, you know, wanting to propose. What's this Knight of Cups emotions? Uh, didn't, I, didn't I tell you? I told you. That, this is why I like to pull an oracle. So you can see I'm not capping. This person is jealous. And look at here. Didn't I say mad? That's what I'm saying with this Knight of Wands. Communication. That's why. Eight of Wands. Because you're not talking to them. You refuse. To, you're not opening up. You refuse to see them. The blindfold is on. You're not talking to them. You refuse to allow this person in. I'm seeing here, I feel like even blocking. I'm getting here like you could have blocked. You see how she's crap like blocked communication. I feel like you blocked this person. Or there's some sort of issue with communication. But this, I told you this person is jealous. That's that Knight of Wands energy. Jealous, fury, look at here. Irritated, annoyed, aggravated, bothered. I told you they don't have any peace. They don't have any peace. And look at the flies around this horse's face. This is telling me spirit has been giving them constant signs. Constantly. That's what I'm saying. They don't have any peace. There's no rest for the wicked. They cannot do the start any type of way and get away with it. So they did something wicked, something mean to you in a fit of anger. And now they're, they're wondering what's going on with you. Because they feel like you could be dating someone. Maybe you are talking to someone. Maybe um, you don't even have to be. They could be thinking it. Because I told you with that four swords, you're on this person's mind. And they're annoyed and aggravated with not knowing completely what is going on in your life. Yeah, this person has some anger issues. Look at here, having to be locked up. Whoever this person is, they're really angry. I don't know if it's just, I feel like it's, I don't feel like it's just solely about you, but I do feel like this person is very bothered in life, but also bothered with whatever it is that's going on with you. But yeah, I feel like there's a proposal. Yeah, even send it to the pentacle and look at here, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, this person, I feel like, see, they're talking. This person's going to come back into your life. And I'm seeing here a proposal to start things. They're going to start off with a proposal because they want to get to the Ten Pentacles. We got the Ten Pentacles and the Ten Cups that's coming through. So there's someone that's going to want to propose to you guys. And this is going to come out of nowhere. Like, I mean, for you, you're going to be like, like, how do we go from... You know, this that Knight of Swords energy where there was arguing going on, saying harsh things, and this Emperor in reverse being mean to now wanting this Ten Cups with you, now wanting to marry you. It's because you walked away and you're no longer playing. And we talked about that earlier at the top of the reading. You've been having to learn balance because I feel like you were giving more to this person and loving. You were loving because remember, you were giving eight cups. You were giving too much to this person. You were giving too much. It is what it is. You gave too much of your love to this person. They were not giving it back to you in return. Goes back to what I was saying. Having to learn balance. You had to go through this. Because so that you no longer give more of yourself than what you're receiving. I did What did I say? What did I tell you all? I'm about to be done with you all for today. 
<laughs> didn't I tell you marriage I told you I told you guys <laughs> this person is like I'm going to marriage because I feel like that's what it's going to take that's why we saw the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles it's going to take them being serious and not being and not playing with you anymore and they know that and so in order to keep you because you're done you're disappointed in this person you're disappointed in the connection and situation so they feel like I need to propose to you because someone else is going to take you Oh wow! So the thing here, though, that uh, that I'm that I'm wondering, and I'm gonna pull a card in a second. I want to see. Let me pull one more of this before I tell you guys. One more card we got here. Mature. Yep. See, you you're not playing. That's why it's going to marriage. You could be older, or maybe you're just more of a mature person. Whether your actual age is older, but you're 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 someone that's more. Uh, you're not someone that somebody could be, treat you like a side piece. They can't treat you like a side piece. They can't come in and out of your life. You know, you're just not that person. You know, you're someone's wife. You're someone's husband. You know, you're not someone's side piece. You're not, you're not in that, that stage of your life where you're um, someone's girlfriend or boyfriend. It's like, no, you're the real deal. And anyone that comes into your life will see that and know that. And this person knows that, which is why they're jealous and why they're irritated. That someone else is going to take you away from them. See, I told you they're sick, unable to rest. This person has, there their, their could even have some health issues. This, But I also feel like mental health with that four source I was telling you guys about. But I feel like this person may have went to the hospital recently or maybe has some sort of health issue. But I was, with this emperor in reverse is what I was uh, wondering about. Let me clarify that because I don't want anyone coming towards you guys that hasn't gotten their stuff together. Like, because they are coming through as what you experienced the emperor in reverse. So my question is, you know, has this person changed? Should you even give them a chance? Let's see what that's about. I would do an extended, but I'm not feeling it. You know, if I, if I, maybe because I haven't been doing readings for quite some time, maybe starting next week, I'll probably um, try to give you guys an extended reading as well. But right now I'm not really feeling like doing anything too, too long. I'm still recovering myself. All right. So we got the nine of cups. All right. So I'm getting here. <laughs> oh, wow. This guy is a, this guy or girl, whoever you're dealing with is a character. <sighs> okay. This is a, Okay. This is someone that I feel like is about themselves. I feel like you could have been dealing with someone that is selfish, okay? This is someone that I feel like, um, you know, they collect cups. They collect love in relationships. You see how this person is sitting here and having all these cups? See, this is what I'm saying. They were, you were, t they were taking in all your love. They were taking it all in, but this is what they do in relationships. So I'm not really feeling like, you know, even though this person is coming here with this proposal, I'm not really feeling like they're ready to open up yet and give you any of their cups. This person keeps their love to themselves and they'll take in your love. So that's what we were talking about balance. You were constantly giving love, but you were not receiving it back in return. You were the over giver here and this person loved how you love them. And I'm seeing this King of Wands. You made this person feel good. You boosted this person's ego. You gave this person confidence. I feel like, again, I'm getting here Aries, Leo, Sag. See, look at here. The Nine of Pentacles is coming through. There, there was some sort of flex about you. Like, meaning that, like, whoever you are, this is how they see you as this independent, self-sufficient, uh, very refined, attractive, you know, has it all. You know, they they see you as like this, um, why am I hearing dying piece? But even though this is the nine of pentacles, like they just see you as someone that is, is like, they would be lucky to have you on their arm. So being with you made them feel good, but they did not want to open their heart to you. They have trust issues. Wow. That's interesting. That's interesting. They have, they, they, st they're, they're still struggling with this. This person was wounded before with that nine of wands. And remember I told you that mental health, something happened here with this person, but they do see your work. And remember I told you feeling jealous, this person knows that you're a good person. They know that they will be lucky to have you, but they, they're, they're too much in their ego to open their heart to you right now. 
however they want to marry you however they see a future with you they see you as their person but they're struggling with opening up and giving love because they got wounded before we gotta have the eight of sources in reverse so i'm saying oh a change and the Eight of Swords is coming through reverse. So upright, when we're looking at the Eight of Swords, we're looking at like a lot of negative thinking. We're looking at a prisoner, someone that's a prisoner to these negative thoughts. Someone that may also be stuck in victim mentality, you know, but they're breaking free. Eight of Swords came through reverse and we're seeing the Wheel of Fortune here, a change. So it looks like there's going to be, oh, here comes the love. Here's your match. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> There's going to be a change. It's going to be a struggle though. They are struggling, but they're at the end, which is the 10. This is the 10 of wands. This person has been struggling with giving their heart to you, but there will be a change. The will of fortune, because this is a, this is a faded connection. This is a faded connection. This is the King of Cups is someone that's very sensitive. Um, they wear their heart on their sleeve too, but they don't want to um, like they don't want to. This person will not express love or give love to you unless they know for sure that they can trust you unless they know for sure that you feel the exact same way. And I feel like this person had been testing you. They could have put you through the ringer, but now there's going to be a shift in their mindset. Cause we also saw the bad health. And if you know this, they could be talking to someone about their, cause remember I said, I feel like it's mental and we see the community. They may be talking to someone about their mental health, which is going to help create this shift in their mind. And we saw that with the eight of swords, negative thinking, changing, releasing that victim mentality and ready to open their heart to their queen of cups. So it looks like there's going to be a change almost there at the finish line. But they're struggling right now. They're they're definitely um, carrying a lot on their plate right now with making their way to you. But I'm sensing here a changed person, someone that's actually going to be able to say I love you, uh, you know, and give you what you deserve. So it does look like there will be a change here, guys. All right. See you guys later. Bye.